Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. As you can see, we are starting, yes, our coverage for the Cannes Film Festival. You're going, Cannes? It's up already? Well, yes, we've already been getting information, so we're going to go ahead and start our Cannes coverage. The festival itself starts mid-May, but meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, because this morning the Democrats had to unanimously vote to um, to uh, allow the FAA, who always had the uh, the ability to do it, to re put the, to not furlough the people, which they should have never furloughed in the first place. And then they also had to stand by and vote present so the Democrats could undo part of Obamacare that wasn't going to work whatsoever and not be able to uh, have the Democrats on record of which Democrats didn't support the issue or not. They said, uh, they did, okay, we're, we're on a vote to suspend part of this program uh, and send it to the president immediately. Those that agree say, aye, ayes have it. Mm -hmm. They never even voted negative. They said the ayes have it. And Obama is to address Planned Parenthood. Yeah, basically, uh, uh, he, 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 okay, abortion by law is illegal to be provided for it by the United States government. By an Obamacare, Obamacare demands that you pay for abortions. Mm -hmm. And he's, uh, they said there, uh, which is already, it's already cost congressmen their jobs because the president lied to them. Mm -hmm. uh, the churches are up in arms over it and they're going to court. They said Obama will lose that part in the Supreme Court. So, um, you know, but going to Planned Parenthood is, is a was a war signal for all the people on the right. I mean, they said he took the Latinos and said "f you," and he took all the Afro Americans and said "f you." They don't believe; they're socially conservative. They're liberal as far as money is concerned, but social they are socially conservative, and he's just pissing them off. And the House is expected to pass an air traffic bill and more. Oh God, <laughs> they're rolling today on passing stuff, but. Uh, they uh, basically, they, uh, they, they, passed the, they passed the thing that Harry Reid will say will never be brought up to the Senate today. It was, it was basically a vote of uh, acclamation, which means they united, the, the whole House voted about the cyber, cyber, security, new cyber security laws that basically prevents the President of the United States from taking control of the government. And Harry Reid buried it in the Senate, folks. It means the House Democrats voted for it. And he's not going to let it come up in the Senate because the Senate would then vote for it and the President wouldn't have the ability to overturn a thing that takes it out of his hands. Mm -hmm. And China slams Philippine bid to legalize occupation of islands? Uh, the problem was is that they, those islands belong... Okay, China does not have anything in the South China Sea, folks. That, that's the, like the Philippines area. But they're claiming that the islands... That they're claiming uh, due to something in World War II that the islands belonged to them. No, they were losing the war until the United States joined them to help them win the war. And the United States took back control of those islands and gave them back to the Philippines after the Japanese invaded them. China has no claim over them whatsoever, but they, sent, they have sent, I think, three fleets over there to force Obama to back down, and he will back down. And China poultry sector losses exceed $1.6 billion on bird flu scare. Oh God, it's, it, they, the problem is, is that um, the birds are no longer showing any effects for the problems, but people are. And it's now moved out of China into other countries in the middle, in the, in the Asia now. And there is a problem because there's no, they, 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 what's going to happen is they're probably going to have to kill all of the birds in the Middle East now. And then re, uh, bring birds in that don't have the problem from another country. Ooh. We're talking billions and billions of poultry is going to have to be killed. Ooh. And the immigration bill increases visas for skilled workers and tightens rules. Tightens no rules. They, it, it, it absolutely, this is, the Obama administration is trying to take advantage of this problem. It's just like they wanted it to happen. Well, if we had the new immigration rules in, they would have never been allowed to do, well, since the guy was on the watch list, the new immigration, anything that they would tighten up wouldn't have worked to begin with because as is generally the case under the Obama administration, if you're here illegally, he really doesn't give a rat's ass. And Pope Francis supports crackdown on U.S. nuns? Because they're exceeding their authority. They are not priests. 
Well, that's true. They're then not. they're they're totally exceeding the authority that they are have assigned to them because they let them get away with a lot because they no longer have to dress like nuns. They drive automobiles. They what? Drive stuff. They, that's how you know they're a nun. No, but remember, uh, what was it, for Christmas? We ran into a couple of nuns, well-dressed, and didn't know how to slice thing about cooking. They're asking, well, oh, how do we do right. the hams and stuff? So, mm -hmm. And North Korea issues new threats over protests in the South. Yeah, well, because um, North Korea has the upper hand because of our president. Uh, the very fact that, uh, that Kerry said that we're going to set the rules for negotiations, there shouldn't be any negotiations. It means that they've won the battle. And they, that they're, they're going to start, okay, here's the thing is, Iran no longer has to work as hard on its nuclear industry because North Korea will build nuclear weapons in return. Uh, Iran gives them missiles that they can fire. So uh, Obama has made the world, okay, okay they said under Clinton, and Obama, uh, under Clinton and the two Bushes, not much was done. They were contained. Under Obama, they're setting nuclear weapons off. They weren't testing them under anybody else. Under Obama, they are because they know he can roll, be rolling. And People Magazine's most beautiful person, Gwyneth Paltrow, causes controversy at the Iron Man premiere. Well, now they said it was side chest was big. Now Paltrow has made side uh, made thighs very important because you're going to see lots and lots of uh, women out there with uh, bearing more and more thighs, and it's not. Here's a question: Nobody cared the thigh. Big deal. The people have seen the thighs before. It's just. The problem comes is that the dress was sort of fixed and you could turn around in it and that's when the problems came about. And Pivotal, I, well she always has been a trailblazer when it comes to fashion, hasn't she? Yeah, well she, she basically got massively embarrassed because, okay, <laughs> we'll put it this way, Gwyneth Paltrow does not have blonde hair and that had to be gotten rid of for the dress and it had to be gotten rid of right before she got on camera, so. That is the embarrassing That's part. That's right. Has somebody basically... Because you know, part of it is she does know better. She knew better, but she didn't... Okay, Carrie Fisher in the outfit, the slave girl outfit, did not realize that when she turned, the outfit didn't turn with her. Paltrow did not realize that when she turned... Okay, they told her specifically, do the model walk, which is always just stare straight ahead and turn the whole body... Hair, turn, turn the everything whole body. At the same time. What happened was they would say to her, this way, Gladys, and she'd go like that, and the dress would go... Well, because it's... it's um, the dress stayed exactly where it was at, but she turned in it, so... Because she's just responding. Which she, they told her not to do it. And she so did. get gets it, naughty photographers. Yeah, well, photographers <laughs> always they shoot low and shoot up. So. <laughs> Pivotal North Korea question. What is Kim thinking? He's thinking that he has the United States on the run because of a... Okay, they're saying, uh, anyway, the Demo this is the greatest foreign policy president this nation has ever had. He is the worst foreign policy president this nation has ever had. Everywhere in the world, we are worse off today than when he took over. And he said, well, George Bush, the problem is George Bush's ratings are now higher than Obama's. Well, remember when they were making fun of Sarah Palin going, I can see Russia from my backyard. Well, she actually could because when the ice, okay, the Russians come to Alaska when the ice freezes over to do business mm -hmm. because the, the Russian island is set out there in the middle of the sea in the Bering Sea so when it freezes over they just come, they basically they'll drive across to the United States and pick up supplies and go back again because it's a shorter trip than go to their go to their big cities over in Russia. And North Korea issues new threats over protests in the south. Yeah, she likes that one, she's better twice. I know, that's why. China criticizes the U.S. for strengthening in Asia. Yeah, at the same time, they put three fleets into the ocean to seize islands that belong to the Philippines. Oh, and Obama's it, going to let them. Obama ha will be rolled by the Chinese because he, no president in our nation's history, you don't borrow money from the people that basically want to destroy you. He is. Yeah, that doesn't make Remember, sense. Remember, he's a socialist. He's not a communist. He's a socialist. There is a difference. Russians are communist. Chinese are socialist. And parents say Boston suspects framed and want the truth from the U.S. The problem is, is that how do you know they weren't? How, how do you know they aren't? Because somebody said they weren't. Well, there's just as many people saying they are. So oh, they, is it? Yeah. Ooh, and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, here's a good one. Eventually, if everyone knows that what you're doing is wrong, even you're going to... <laughs>